blows my mind and it saddens me so much because I feel like, you know, like the reason someone would ultimately be depressed, unhappy, angry at the world or their family is because they don't feel like they're actively stepping into their purpose or pursuing their passions, right? Maybe they begin going after the wrong things for success, like money or status or greed. Maybe they listen to others and what they want them to do or who they want them to be. Welcome back to another episode. And today I am so excited to talk about this topic because we're going to spend some time just imagining living in a world with everyone connected to their purpose or actively pursuing it. And by the end of this episode, I hope you're not only inspired and motivated to continue pursuing and aligning with your purpose, but that you understand how that you can actually actively work to help others step into theirs. And so I'm going to leave you with some tips today to help walk someone through a process to where they can begin aligning with their purpose. So if it's available to you, go ahead and close your eyes. Disclaimer, do not do this if you are driving, operating heavy machinery, running on a treadmill, or doing any other activity where you shouldn't have your eyes closed. But if you can't close them, join me. Imagine that everyone you've ever come in contact with was pursuing their passions and fully living in alignment with exactly why they were put on this earth. There was no resentment or regret when they looked back at their life because they knew that each and every day was a gift that they were pursuing happiness loving at a deep level because they were just on fire and just feeling good and allowing any feeling to come through that's happiness sadness anger, frustration, but not labeling and just letting it be. Just knowing that things are happening for them because they're aligned. If everyone knew the actions to take each day to show up knowing that they were on the path or at least getting closer to being on the path to manifesting into their life exactly why they were here. I want you to visualize this world and the amount of kindness and love that strangers would have for each other because they're on this journey of life together and realize this reality is available to you. It's available to everyone you've ever come in contact with, your family, your friends. Mm. Mm. Now open your eyes. I want you to feel that this is not only possible, but it is completely available to everyone in the world. So then why do most people not actively pursue their purpose? I feel like we have to start there and get a really good understanding of like, okay, if everybody has this available, why aren't they doing it? It blows my mind and it saddens me so much because I feel like, you know, like the reason someone would ultimately be depressed unhappy, angry at the world or their family is because they don't feel like they're actively stepping into their purpose or pursuing their passions, right? Maybe they begin going after the wrong things for success like money or status or greed. 
Maybe they listen to others and what they want them to do or who they want them to be, right? Like, let's say they go to college for a degree that they don't truly want, but their parents, you know, told them they need it. Maybe they're working at a job that they're not happy at because their family tells them they need it to pay the bills and that there's no other way. What happens so often is people get stuck and then they don't make a change because they get comfortable and they're afraid of what could happen if they step out and try something new or if they do something different. People are creatures of habit. So if you aren't used to doing new things, it could be really hard to try something new. And then fear gets in the way, right? What if I fail? What will people say? What will people think of me? What would I even do? What does finding your purpose actually mean? And they get in their heads, they get in their own way, and they talk themselves off the edge, the edge being the edge of their comfort zone. They talk themselves off the edge, back into playing it safe, aka playing small and not making a change in their life and actively connecting to their purpose and pursuing it every single day. So maybe they lack fulfillment or they don't feel inspired by the things they're doing. So they get blocked from more creative inputs, right? Because if you're not feeling creative, you're feeling drained, you're feeling lack when you're doing business or a job that you don't appreciate, you're going to block it from coming through. You're going to block the answers from reaching you. And so that I feel cripples so many people from that next level of success, right? Maybe they get into this career before actually listening to the calling that they have, right? And then, oh, the worst one of them all. Well, I'm just too busy. How could I pursue my passions or my purpose? I don't, I don't have any time. That doesn't pay the bills. Oh, boy. I hate that answer. Because we all have the same amount of time in life. Well, not in life. I'm sorry. In the day. We all have different times in life. We don't know if we have another day, another year, another decade. We're not promised tomorrow, my friend. So listen, listen for the call. But don't be too busy to hear it. First off, <laughs> how will they ever pursue their passions or their purpose if they don't actively get out of their own way, like, like let's just talk about that right but we're all busy so if you let that stop you or I should say they right if they let them that stop them then that's basically like them saying that they don't care enough about their passions or their purpose to actively pursue it now if you ask me knowing that we only have one life to live I would say that it is our duty each and every one of us on planet earth or in the universe right it is our duty to be actively pursuing what put us here right as i know i just got an apple watch and it continues to ping me right now while i'm filming this so um i apologize for that i don't know how to turn that off let me see if i can turn that off i need to learn how to work this thing Hold up, hold up, sleep mode, do not disturb, on, got it, thank you, sorry for the interruption. Okay, so with that being said, knowing why people don't actively pursue their purpose, I mean, another thing that's coming through right now is they don't know what it is, right? Oh, I don't know what my purpose is, so they just don't do anything, or they keep doing what they were doing before, even though it's unfulfilling because they don't know what they're supposed to be doing, which is also very frustrating, but knowing that's the current reality of a majority of the population, let's drop into what we can begin to do by setting the right example for others so that more people begin to actually step into their purposes. So first off, stop looking for it. Okay, so by you stopping looking for it, 
you're also going to be setting the example for them that it's not about trying to figure out what your purpose is truly. And the more you search for it, (laughs) the more you're probably going to block the answer from coming through and actually hitting you, right? So stop searching for it and start to encourage them to do more of what they love. So like a beach walk, yoga, meditation, traveling, exploring new places, doing new things, taking an art class. Like encourage this person to do anything that brings them joy and do it more often, right? And, and even if, they're, if they give you the excuse of, hey, I just, I don't have time for that, say, okay, then uh, I know you spend an hour every single night watching Netflix. Can you shave that down to 30 minutes and spend half an hour painting, right? You can help them find time. You can help them create time. The mornings are an incredible time that a lot of times people just roll out of bed and go straight to work. Can you get up an extra hour early? And intentionally start your morning with some art? Hmm? Can you create an intentional morning, or not morning, I'm sorry, evening routine that allows more creativity into your life? Right? Ask them questions that are going to help them think deeper about how they can begin to find time and implement these activities into their life and lifestyle right now as is. They need to start embodying the version of them that is fully living their best life. And why would they come to and listen to you? Because you are doing that. You're not waiting to have X amount of dollars in your bank, 10 more hours back per week. You're doing it now. You're not living for the weekends. You're living for the moment that you're in. And you're just looking for fun. You're looking for ways and things each day to just make life that much sweeter. Hmm? And encourage them to just give themselves space to allow the answers to come and land. Touched on this, but talk with them. Don't force your purpose to reveal itself but rather be open to and allow yourself the space that's needed to receive the answers. So really great things they could do are journaling, right? Really just sit in silence with a piece of paper and a pen and just allow yourself to receive the answers and try to really just not think about anything. The second idea would be meditation. So a way to really clear your mind and Eliminate the ego so that those answers can present themselves to you. Uh, so really, it's about thinking less and being more. Like, just just be. Just be. It's that simple. And work on becoming the version of you that is fully aligned with your purpose. And I don't just mean just being all the time, but you can just be while still taking aligned action, right? Where you're a full embodiment of the version of you that is meant to be actively pursuing this vision. Okay, so you need to take aligned action. And if you hear any blocks or fears come up as they're explaining this to you, that, you know, they're not good enough, they're keeping them from taking action, like whatever it is that you start to hear come through, like a good example of this would be like they're wanting to do a yoga class, but they've never done yoga. Like they're just, what what if they're not good enough? What will people say? What if they can't keep up? Like all of these things that would prevent them from taking the class, right? Like rewrite that story. Journal through this. Okay, well, why am I worried about what others will think? Why should I stop worrying about that? And what do I have to lose if I keep thinking this way? And so I want you to hear these fears that might come up for them and encourage them by asking the right questions and basically talk them, talk them out of that fear. Get them to see how silly it truly is. And that actually by them not taking action, they're going to be in a worse place than if they actually did take the action. 
So we really want to encourage them to experiment and try new things. And as something fits and it feels really good to do more of it, right? So my friend, you are the light. You understand that you are the creator of your life, but as I'm sure you're beginning to understand and witness in the world around you is that not everyone feels that way. And I know we want to go and try to help and fix everyone. And while that may or may not be possible, we can make moves to help the people who are around us and who we get the opportunity to connect with each and every day, even if it's just in the line at Starbucks, or passing by at the gym. You have an opportunity to shift the reality for someone else just based on you being that light and you asking them the right questions that are going to help them realize that they could be the light too. It is available to each and every one of us. And you, being the leader that you are, listening to this episode and filling your mind and becoming more and more aligned with your purpose, I can't spread this mission and this message on my own without you. And so I just encourage you like, to be selfless, to not just share this information that you're learning with yourself, but that once you implement it for you and you feel the effects and it starts to work, help others. Be that light for them. And if this episode or my podcast has resonated and has helped you in any way, like yeah, rating and reviewing it helps people find the show, helps me grow organically. But what helps me more than anything to increase this message is when you share it with someone who needs it. Because when they are able to listen to these episodes multiple times per week and I can guide them on this transformative journey, that's where we change their life. So go ahead, share, click the share button, send it to someone who needs this, post it on your social media, help me share this message. But most importantly, when you're out there in the world, share, share, help someone who doesn't know that their life can be different than it is right now, but they want it to be. There are so many people out there who want to do and be more and they feel stuck. Be that light. Thank you so much for listening and I cannot wait to catch you in the next episode.